welcome to this episode of Western Chester County Checks In. Hmm. Hi everyone, now I'm alone with Arbon. It's John Sirock from Sirock Catering. I'm Chester County Park Ranger Sissy Pavlik. My name is Mike Schnabley. I'm with Citadel. Hi everyone, Alyssa Griffith here. I'm just going to give you a few tips today on how to keep your car in good shape during this COVID-19 shutdown. We have a very open and inviting restaurant and I wanted to design the menu the same way. I'm standing here in front of the clubhouse at French Creek Golf Club. This has always been one of our most popular and most anticipated events of the year. It was not without a lot of uh, reservations and um, dedication, though, that we did decide that we wanted to have this event. Our cases are going up, there's no doubt about it but we have still always been a little lower than the surrounding areas. A significant portion of our students receive free or reduced lunch at school. So once we knew school was closing, that was our number one fear. How are they gonna eat? So the staff came together, we came up with a plan to work with the food bank so that we can provide uh, meals for the families during this time. We are at the Coatesville Area Senior Center looking at their drive-through, which provides meals to community seniors. We're here at Pope John Paul II. In the world we're in, there's so much we can't control and certainly the pandemic is one of those things. As leaders, we respond. We love the events that the Chamber does, the contribution that it makes to the business community, you know, both socially and the education that it does. It's important that we celebrate economic development in this region, and it's important that we uh, celebrate the family-owned businesses who are staying in business for more than 100 years. Well, I, I think one of the things that's important for, for me and as well as, you know, folks in the city of Coatesville is that, you know, Coatesville is open for business. We support local businesses. We want them to come to Coatesville. So I, I think this is going to be a good starting point and we're very excited about it. We're going to go through this in ebbs and flows. And so we want to make sure that on the back end, where people are sort of referring to the aftermath of COVID, that there's gonna be some level of stabilization. We're here tonight to celebrate the Chamber's annual dinner. Well, we're glad to be here at the barn at Stony Brook. Please spread the news. The Western Chester County Chamber of Commerce is the place to be. We make a lot of good friends here at the chamber too, right? We do. It's it's amazing how I consider so many people friends. I've always felt, as well as uh, my family, that it's very important to support our community in any way we can, whether it be uh, through donations, any kind of benefits we can do for local school districts and I got involved in this business to business chamber of commerce because I think it's important to understand what we need to do to keep our businesses growing in the area and keep the area thriving. We need them more than ever and they need us more than ever so it's great to come together as a community and do what we can for each other. We're, we're a strong community, we're a good community, we're able to be resilient and to, uh, to make the changes that's necessary to survive and thrive. We want to see you soon!